2018 is coming up fast, and there is a lot of ideas about what will happen this year. Will we get some surprise announcements? Will we get things that we've been waiting for for literally over a decade? We're gonna find out, but right now we have our greatest ideas for what could happen at E3. It's a magical place. It's a little less magical now that it's so damn crowded, but announcements are still fun. Yes, absolutely. Um, what I'm excited for is to see what the hell Death Stranding is, because we have been teased this for years, going back even to, to PT, when the Konami uh, idea was still viable, when he didn't let down Kojima-san, or Guillermo, or Norman, <laughs> and they're all, uh, it, it seems to be coming together. It looks really weird every preview I see. I don't have high hopes that it will actually be coming out in this year, no. or even next year, early quarter one, quarter two, but I really wanna see what weird damn thing we're gonna see next from them. Yeah, I, so I'm a, I'm a fan of Kojima. I love the Metal Gear series, but Death Stranding has literally just been him throwing weird things into trailers and people being like, he's genius. Oh my God, look, there's a baby. I get it, I get it. No, you don't. Is that Guillermo del Toro in an acting role? Yeah, there's no game. There is no game yet. <laughs> you haven't even seen a single piece of gameplay. All That's it is is feel, random things you're reading into. That is how I feel about um, Final Fantasy VII Remake. We all want it, but I don't know when we're gonna see this thing. Right, but at least you know that that you know what that gameplay is gonna be. Mm -hmm. That's straining, people have no idea. And look, Metal Gear Solid but Five had really great what gameplay. What the mystique is? Yeah, okay. I mean, people <laughs> You're just so like mad. I, I know I love Kojima, but I feel like people really do like okay, give him a okay, pass on this stuff. Okay, what's your choice then? What's what your choice that it? makes you happy? Well, I, I mean, there's a lot I'm excited to see. Honestly, like the Ghost game from um, Sucker Punch, the mm -hmm. Sony PS4 exclusive, open world samurai game. I, as a Amanusha fan, which by the way, an, an, a new Amanusha game would be incredible as well. Would but you love just to be like, surprised by that? I think everyone would. Yeah, I mean, I think they might just do a remaster first to see to test the waters to see how mm -hmm. people feel about it. But I, I think an open world game like that would be amazing. But this Ghost game also seems like that kind of in uh, that kind of vibe and. So I want to see more of that. There's there's a lot of things. Anthem, I want to see like how I'm that's... I'm mad at Anthem for screwing up Mass Effect Andromeda because I think that's where all the company resources went and why that game was so disappointing. Well, so, I mean... So look, I would love it to be great, but I'm coming at it with an angry perspective as a fan. That's fair. I just think there's going to be... So EA is actually the publisher I'm most interested in, aside from Microsoft, because I think Microsoft has a lot of explaining to do, but that's a different story. Because EA is right now at a really baseline level, right? Mm -hmm. They've had swings and misses, even though, I just want to say, Battlefront 2 sold n over 9 million copies. So everyone that was like, I'm not going to buy it because I loop it. You did buy it, so. I didn't buy it. You didn't buy I it? I didn't even take a press copy. Okay, wow. Nothing. Wow. Yeah. Standing by your morals, I, I like it. I could have. I didn't. Uh, but Anthem, I want to see uh, from, uh, obviously, Kingdom Hearts 3, but that kind of got... That's Looked already at, been shown a little, but yeah. I would love it if they had a hands-on of that. Yes. I would be into that. Yeah, I didn't get invited to the event. Um, thanks, Square Enix. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, I, would also... I have a friend at Square Enix, and I didn't get invited to that. Ooh. Yeah. Rough. Rough times. Yeah. Uh, Smash so, Bros. It's, I mean, we know what we're that's gonna the get. That's one thing that we're sure Nintendo is gonna show. Yes, absolutely. They're gonna show Smash Brothers. I know a lot of, there's a lot of love for this uh, this game. Okay, yes. But for me, I'm real bad at it. So I just want everyone else to enjoy it. I don't wanna take it away from you. Just do the C-stick. Just If you C-stick, okay, you'll be fine. fine. Uh, Help me. Another game I'm that so bad at it. we should see for the first time, uh, Borderlands 3. I'm gonna lose my mind, Brandon. We already did a full <laughs> video where I just like freak out and clutch my face and turn red over Borderlands 3. Yeah. I think I'm so psyched for Borderlands 3. 2K, please, please show it. <laughs> I'll forgive you for everything. Just show Borderlands 3. That's fair. That's fair. It'll be interesting <laughs> to see how that game has evolved because 2012, the industry was a different thing. Mm -hmm. So kind of, Seeing how it's going to evolve to fit today's standards is going to be something that I, I, we'll see if they stick the landing. They've been working on it for a long time. And lastly, CD Projekt Red is showing an RPG. We all know it's the cyberpunk game. I would love to see that as well. I don't know what's coming from that, but I really respect them based on Witcher 3. So maybe it'll be amazing. We'll find out uh, when E3 happens soon. Audience, what is your most anticipated E3 release or showing or whisper? Please let us know your thoughts on Facebook and Twitter.